Parliamentary democracy, the British legacy to Zimbabwe, should have ended the war. But a two or three party system is neither necessarily the most appropriate for the country, nor does Mr Mugabe believe in it. When he won the election, he took Mr Nkomo into government. But he hopes to achieve a one party state, he says by agreement. Some think the Matabeleland campaign is part of that plan. Ian Smith, the man who deprived the black majority of their rights for so long, is today deprived of his passport. He believes the government has abandoned its commitment to reconciliation. They broke their promises with Nkomo and Zapu after Lancaster House. They've driven the Matabeles into a corner. What do you expect the Matabeles to do? I never criticised this government in public, the Prime Minister, and I said to my caucus, you mustn't do it because we're trying to help them. We want to get them established until they attacked me. But in politics, you know, especially in an election time, if your opponents attack you, you must attack them. So they provoke it and then throw up their hands in horror and say, look at the terrible things they're doing to us. You're saying then the Matabele land problem is a direct result of government policy? Well, they're pressurising and they're pushing the Matabeles, and it stems from the time, I believe, when Nkomo said that uh, he was opposed to the one-party state. And I know that was when my trouble started with the Prime Minister. We got on very well together. We used to meet regularly. And he said he was pleased to see me because I represented the white people and he wanted to know what the white people were thinking. I was always met very courteously, but then on one occasion I had to tell him, I cannot go along with you and your one-party state philosophy because that will mean the end of freedom to me. And I pleaded with him to stop it because he was destabilizing our whites more more were emigrating, and I knew from my contacts with businessmen overseas that he was prejudicing investment in our country. So those things were bad for the country. You're suggesting then that Mugabe has decided that if he cannot get a one-party state by consensus, he'll get it by whatever means is necessary. Well, you said it. I've decided to drop from the government Mr. Joshua Nkomo, 